Hello, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. There are lots of other things I'd rather have been talking about, but this came across my bow this morning and uh, well, it's pretty explosive. Uh, I haven't got it in here, but apparently Pepe Escobar has been talking about it as well. But here goes uh, a, uh, a tweet. Uh, Hajj Soleimani came in peace. He was a peace envoy visiting Baghdad at the invitation of the Iraqi government, trying to de-escalate tensions uh, between Iran and Saudi Arabia. All of this has just been confirmed by the Prime Minister of Iraq. The US murdered him anyway. And this is a, a previous uh, tweet uh, from Iraqi Prime Minister Mahdi. Trump called me and asked me if I could mediate between him and Iraq. And then moments later, he ordered the airstrike on Hajj Soleimani. So, uh, and then uh, uh, there is this. And I'm back. Hal Turner live from New York City. You know, this is very frustrating. I am getting repeated intelligence suggesting that the commander of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps Quds Force, Qasem Soleimani, was also in the convoy hit by U.S. airstrike. He was allegedly in the same car as Abu Mahadi al Muhandis. But it is unconfirmed. That could be because the bodies are so utterly obliterated, they probably can't identify it just yet. But I, I got to tell you, folks, I'm getting repeated intel suggesting, not confirming, suggesting that the commander of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps Quds, Q-U-D-S, force, guy named Qasem Soleimani was in that convoy that was hit. It's not confirmed. Uh, I got to tell you, if, if he if that guy was in there and he's dead, then the war has begun. Right? Iran will go to war. It's that simple. All right, I got three callers on hold. Let me get to those calls. Hello, caller. You're on the Hal Turner Show. Who are you? Where are you calling from? This is Anonymous. From Alabama. Hello, Anonymous in Alabama. Speak up, please. Okay. In my opinion, uh, these people were on their way to meet with our people to try to stop a war. That's the reason they were, were, were flying in. That's the reason that we knew where they were. And that's the reason uh, that we were able to locate them. And this was a setup. This is a false flag so that we can start a war with Iran. Ooh. This is the this is the way that we always get into wars. We've been trying to start a war with Iran for many years. We have been unable to get them to attack us. They do not want a war. We've not been able to get them to attack us. We finally the people that run the world have finally run out of patience. So they've had to create their own their own attack we've attacked ourselves uh, Iran did not do this we created our own own uh, uh, attack against our embassy we hired the people the CIA are the people behind this uh, and um, we created uh, our own excuse to go to war with Iran this is my opinion uh, but this is this is how we create uh, wars and um, I think they're gonna you know be successful but this is going to turn out to be us you know creating our own excuse to go to war because uh, as you know we had a list of countries that we were going to take down right Iran was Iran was one of them we haven't been able to go to war with them 
so I think we're finally going to uh, do that, and Syria will probably be taken down uh, in, in the process also. But I think uh, we arranged for these men to come, and they, they thought they were probably going to, you know, stop the war, but we ended up killing them. Anyway, that's that's my take on the whole situation. Anonymous in Alabama, that is like primo conspiracy theory. Wow, that is like super neato Kino Swift. Thanks, well, that's, thanks for that's, calling, that's man. That's how we want. That's how we operate. All right, dude. Thanks for the call. Oh, wow. Wow. Hey, caller, you're on the Hal Turner Show. Who are you? Where are you calling from?